ever. Hi, I'm Michelle New from Circle Inn Dairy. Uh, my husband Tommy and I run the dairy here. Uh, Tommy's dad started this in 1967, so we are 52 years in the dairy business. Uh, we met Anna about a year ago uh, through a mutual friend of hers and decided that it would be a way for us to get our product out there more. Uh, we sell raw milk here on the farm. Uh, we were asked about nine years ago, people started coming to us asking if they could buy raw milk from us. They wanted to get, know where their food was coming from, get a healthier product for their family. And so we got permitted for that. And this is the way we sell our milk nowadays. Uh, by meeting with Anna, uh, we could not deliver raw milk to her. Raw milk can only be sold on the farm. So we decided to low temp pasteurized milk. Uh, we heat this to 145 degrees for about 30 minutes and then bottle it. And that way we can take it to people that do not have the capability or the time to come out to the farm. So it has worked very well. Uh, we sell both here raw milk and also through a few co-ops like Anna is doing and deliver our products to them. This way the people in her group are able to get fresh products that they know where their food is coming from, a much healthier choice. Uh, besides the milk from us, they also get our cheese, they get our ice cream, our yogurt, our cream, and different products that we produce here. So we are happy to do that. Uh, we, like I said, we have been doing that for about almost a year now with Anna's group and have enjoyed meeting them. So here on the dairy, we try to raise our own crops. So if you look over here, this is our silo and that is what we fill with feed for the cows. Uh, we raise wheat and barley. Those crops are planted in the fall and springtime we harvest them and put them into this silo. The silo uh, is airtight, there's no oxygen in there, so this feed ferments. So it's a good nutritional feed for these cows, the most digestible form of feed. Uh, they are always put out on pasture, but this is their daily diet, is the silage, because grass alone for dairy cattle cannot produce enough for the cows to, to be able to produce milk, have a healthy body, and raise a calf inside them as well. So uh, we milk about 40 cows here, milk them twice a day, every day, uh, 2.30 in the morning, around 2.30 in the afternoon. So that is just our lifestyle. Uh, so besides uh, raising our own crops, uh, we take care of the cattle here. We probably have a close to 100 head from baby on up. Uh, we've got the dairy barn you see over here uh, where we milk the cows. This big covered barn right here is called a freestall barn. Uh, it, this one is built mainly for comfort. The cows do not like the heat and humidity. This is where the cows get fed. So the silage gets put out here every day. Every morning when we come back out, that's what we do first. So they'll be able to eat in here. They'll have the shade. They have fans, misters, and sprinklers to keep them cool and comfortable if they'd like to stay inside. But as you can see, today they're not. They're outside and they, like, they would prefer to be outside. That's their natural habitat. They have rubber-filled mattresses they want to lay down. So we can go in our dairy barn here. You can see actually where we milk the cows. So this is our pit, is what this is called. This is where we do our job. Cows will be up here. So we have a double six. That means that we can milk 12 cows at a time. Uh, it's all automated and one person can take care of the milking and everything. So uh, after the cows are washed and dried, when I'm perfectly clean, dry, then the milkers will go on them. So we've got some good, fresh, clean milk. You know, it's, it's important to us to have a clean facility, whether we sold to the public or not. This is just how we want our operation to be. So uh, we are able to recycle all the water that we use here, our water and our waste. So this barn is flushed with uh, fresh well water. So this is the front room of our dairy barn. This is the milk tank. So we've got uh, the milk stored in here. It's coming out of the cows at 101 degrees. We are chilling it down to 36 degrees. Raw milk has a good shelf life. It's got at least a good two week shelf life. Keep it good and cold. So anytime that we transport milk to Anna, uh, we make sure that it's packed on ice very good. Uh, we also make sure that when we bottle our milk here and put it in our store, it's always kept at a really good cold temperature. Um, it will have a longer shelf life by doing that. So it makes a big difference. Same with the ice cream made start to finish here. We are not like some of the ice cream shops that you know, say claim to make their own ice cream. Well, they don't make the base and the base is making your ice cream when you're going from start to finish. So we're milking the cows, taking our milk and cream only, making our base and then making our flavors out of that. So start to finish, cow to the cup. So my husband Tommy was seven when his parents started the dairy and I married into it. So I have been with him for the last 39 years. And this is what we have always done. 
This is our only source of income, so the dairy has got to be able to have our family plus our son and his wife as well. So we go over here and we'll show you guys how we flush our barn here. You can see how clean that got the freestall barn. So it flushes all the waste down and that's where it's going through the separator, separating the solids and the liquids. So we are making compost. So we can open that up and instead of me turning it on, I'm just gonna reach in here to turn that on. That's what that feed looks like now. This is wheat and barley, but you can see how it's changed in color. That's fermented. You can feel the moisture in it too, just a little bit. It's got a good sweet smell to it. The cows love it. Like I said, that's their main diet that they're gonna eat every day. So it's very important that we make a good crop. This silo is 90 feet tall. It holds 400 tons of feed. So never GMO crops. Uh, we don't believe in that and spraying our pastures and fields and things. So we take good care of the land and try to produce all that we can with what we have. And so uh, I think it's good for the farmers to have that source like Anna does with the different, uh, all the different farmers that she can bring together to provide more opportunities for the farmer and for the customer, the consumer as well. So she does a very good job providing a lot of different things, a big variety of foods. So with raw milk, we do not pasteurize it at all. Pasteurization destroys the good enzymes that are naturally in milk. So everything is left just like it is coming right from the cow. If you only had raw milk, you could actually be healthy. You would not need food or water. That's how much good nutrition is naturally in milk. They're destroying the good enzymes and adding things back. And adding them back is not the same as it is as it starts in the original product. What did you find? Did you get some milk? You like your milk, don't you? Yes. <laughs>